Hello everybody, welcome to another lag testing video. With the release of Minecraft 1.14 today, I thought it would be a good idea to test the performance of yeah, some Minecraft versions. I'm gonna test certain contraptions and also maybe isolated blocks in Minecraft 1.12, Minecraft 1.13.2 and Minecraft 1.14 pre-release 5, the final pre-release, which should be, when it yeah, comes to lag, be pretty identical with the uh, 1.14 release. And I can test everything thanks to carpet mod, which doesn't change the, yeah, the way the game performs, but lets me keep track of the performance. Alright, let's start with some baseline testing before, we, for example, start building up array of pistons that are getting triggered by a clock, etc. At the end we can also maybe test uh, full farms that would work the same on 12, 1.13 and 1.14. Alright, so we got a completely empty world, just one layer of glass blocks here at the bottom. And yeah, I just basically started the game. And in order to test everything, we're gonna use the tick warp command of carpet mod, which tries to run the game as quickly as possible. As you can see, the sun moves a lot quicker than usually. And let's stop it. We can run the game at 868 ticks per second. So a way to increase performance even more would be to turn off mob spawning. Set this to false and do the same test again. And now the yeah, game runs significantly faster. We're getting 25,000 ticks per second. If I would now also turn off the random tick speed, I set it to zero, default value is three. Let me test this again. It should be even slightly faster than that. Oh, we got some lightning strikes, don't think that uh, affected much. Yeah, we got 28,000 ticks per second. Also, uh, I'm running the game on a server, so it's not running on my computer, just to avoid any outside influences, like my client performance, which could be different, and also, for um, example, what else goes on my computer. So we're running the same world on the same server, just in different versions. So this was 1.12 see how 1.13.2 performs with those baseline tests. And now let's do the same three tests in Minecraft 1.13.2. So let's first do a tick warp uh, with mob spawning and also with random ticks. So yeah, you can already see it is a bit slower. Getting 419 ticks per second, so only half as fast as 1.12. Now let's Turn off mob spawning. Test this again, a bit longer this time. This should be still way faster. Not quite as fast as 1.12 though. And we're getting 8300 ticks per second. And now let's also turn off the random ticks. Do another tick warp. And now it's 8,744 ticks per second. So about three times slower than 1.12. And now let's do the same test in micro 1.14. So first, gonna do a tick warp with mob spawning and with random ticks. And this time, yeah, display changed a little bit. We're getting the milliseconds per tick, which is just the reciprocal value of ticks per second. So we're getting almost 1,000 ticks per second, which is Actually a bit better than Micro 4.12 in that regard. The next test would be to turn mob spawning to false. Do the same tick warp. And here you can already see a big difference. It's not significantly faster. It's just yeah, ever so slightly better the performance now. So we're still getting about 1000 ticks per second. Compared to 8113 and I think it was 25112. Now if we also additionally turn the random ticks to zero you also won't see a difference there. So now we're getting one milliseconds per tick, as it is 1000 ticks per second exactly. So the next thing I want to test is just a randomly generated world, where nothing got changed, we've got animals, we've got mob spawning, this is freshly generated, uh, no changes at all, just want to see how it would perform in all three versions. In between I also did a more accurate test of the random ticks, I created a flat world with grass blocks which are getting random ticked, and also did a tick warp in default random tick speed and then random tick speed 100 times higher and you can, here you can see the results. Uh, I think the interesting result is when a random tick speed got higher actually the result was 
better in 1.14 than in 1.12. And now back to the test in the normal world. So in Minecraft 1.12, a tick warped a full day and we're getting 331 ticks per second. And now we also have results for Minecraft 1.13.2. So the normal world only runs at 114 TPS now. And here are the results for Minecraft 1.14. Unfortunately, I couldn't tick warp a full Minecraft day since the server crashed twice. So I went with shorter tick warps instead. And we're getting about 125 ticks per second, which is slightly better than Minecraft 1.13, but still significantly worse than Minecraft 1.12. And I think that a little increase compared to 1.13 can be explained with the improved collision algorithm of entities. All right, now it's time to test some redstone components. We're gonna start with some repeaters. We got fast pulsing of server clock in the back and then just a line of repeaters. All right, let's turn on all five slices and then do a quick tick bob. So in 1.12, we're getting 52 ticks per second. And this is a bit surprising, at least for me. The performance of repeaters is a lot better at 1.13.2. We're getting 205 ticks per second. RedSMD also told me what could be a reason for that. Uh, in older versions, the repeaters gave out twice the amount of block updates that are actually necessary. Um, and this apparently got fixed in Micro 4.13. Also, technical players in older versions usually preferred to use comparators over repeaters because they didn't have the issue with the unnecessary block updates. So yeah, in 1.13, it's safe to use repeaters again instead of comparators. And now the same test in Micro 4.14, the performance decreased significantly again. We now down to 78 ticks per second again. Now I want to test piston performance in order to do so. Here we got shaking pistons. It's a bit of a problem for the client, but yeah, as you can see, they're all shaking. And already did a tick warp. Yeah, the client really can't handle that. It's probably best if you look away. But yeah, for the server, it's 309 ticks per second in 1.12. And this is Minecraft 1.13.2. Now we got 93 TPS, so this is significantly worse than 1.12. 1.14 is not better than Minecraft 1.13 in that regard. Piston performance is still about in the same range. And the next thing I want to test is redstone dust. That's a redstone component that's notorious for being quite leggy. So we don't need much in order to bring the performance of the server down. So I already tested this. With this setup here, I'm getting 103 TPS in Minecraft 1.12. In Minecraft 1.13.2, the performance of Redstone Dust is actually slightly better since it received a rework in that version. So we're getting now 128 ticks per second. The performance of 1.14 is about in the same range. We're getting 125 ticks per second. And here's the next test. This could be quite interesting. We got 400 hopper minecarts sitting in a single spot. And in 1.12, we're getting about 70 TPS. This got slightly worse than Micro 1.13 with 55 TPS. But has improved in Micro 1.14 because of the better collision algorithm, and now we're at 77 TPS. The next one is going to be quite interesting, especially for the village and pillage update. We got villagers here, exactly 100 of those, and the results for Micro 1.12 are very convincing. We got 876 TPS here. So 1.13, we're down to 319 TPS, still quite decent, but I'm quite afraid it's going to be worse than 1.14. Which is also the case, we're down to 179 ticks per second now in Microphone 14, which is really no surprise. Of course, the collision algorithm should improve lag situation, but of course, the villagers are more complex now. Also, I'm wondering what would happen if we all give them a workstation and a bed. Fortunately, the answer is not much, so we're still in the range of 160 ticks per second, and it's really good news because the output of your or the size of your maximum iron golem farm. It's directly dependent on the amount of villagers you have. So now we can run the game eight times faster than usual. So in theory, we should be able to run uh, an iron golem farm with about 700 villagers. You also need some, yeah, some performance for the golems. So yeah, this is really good news. So this would mean that some of the most efficient iron farms right now in 1.14 would be at around uh, 30 iron per hour per villager. So this would mean with 700 villagers, we could get up to 20,000 iron power. It's actually quite decent. Let's continue with a tile entity. I'm interested in the beacon because there was a bug in Minecraft 1.14 that got fixed that the beacon beam uh, did not update instantly. As you can see, this was definitely the case in 1.12. And the performance was also great. So 3,570 ticks per second with over 2,000 beacons here. 
The microphone point 13.2, the performance isn't that great anymore, it's down to 750 TPS. Of course we also need to consider the empty world alone already is not performing as great in microphone point 13, but it was still 7000 TPS, so the beacon is definitely the biggest influencer on this. Also we're still having the bug here that the colors don't update immediately. And in micro 4.14, the performance is a bit up again, now we're at around 800 ticks per second again. But we also have to consider that the empty world only runs at 1000 ticks per second, so the performance is even better than the numbers make it look like. Yeah, all we can take away from this is that it's no problem to place beacons really. So next we're gonna test something where 1.14 should be superior to 1.12. Flying machines pushing block because of the whole light engine update. So if we test this in 1.12, we're getting 67 ticks per second. What I can already say about Microsoft 13 is that the client performance is just unbelievably bad. So if we go close, then we're down to 1 to 2 frames per second, and this is just super bad. So the only way to fix this issue for the client is, is fly up. About 64 blocks away, then it's fine. Alright, let's test the server performance next. Wow, is this bad. So in Micro 4.13, this little flying machine here uh, only runs at 16 ticks per second. So the performance, at least for the client, is already so much better in Micro 4.14. Now let's also tick up this real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is definitely improvement over the older versions. So we're around 800 ticks per second now. Awesome. Let's do one more test. This time a full farm, a stone generator. The idea of this one here is that we push stone in front of the player and you can then instant mine that. Alright, what are we using command block to get rid of the stone? Alright, already tested it and we can run this particular farm at 162 ticks per second in micro 1.12. Performance is a bit worse in micro 4.13, we're down to 86 ticks per second. Also the client performance again is atrocious, if you get near this thing then your client will freeze. Bit of an issue. And this one is actually a bit surprising, the performance in micro 1.14 is up with this contraption. We're now at 232 ticks per second with this one. So this is yeah, definitely really good news. It's maybe caused by the improved light engine. Because there's, yeah, now it is getting sucked up by the dispensers, etc. So this is, can definitely be explained with that. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time. Those are all the tests for the day. I would definitely like to do more testing. For example, test all the redstone components and compare them with each other. But maybe that's material for a follow-up video at some point. Resume, 1.14 isn't quite as laggy as I expected it to be. There's still certain things that maybe should be looked into, for example, piston performance. Would be really nice if that could be improved. But there are also some really good aspects, for example, the collision code is much better now, and also the light engine is also so much more powerful than in previous versions. That's all I got for today. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.